Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're having the best day of your life, man. I got about three and a half hours of sleep last night. I am so, so tired. It's currently 4.30 in the morning. I just got ready, just did up my hair, put some, you know, proper clothes on, put this hoodie on because it's cold as hell outside. But I am on my way, well, I'm going to be on my way to the groom's house because today is wedding day. I have to shoot all of the shots, then we're going straight to the ceremony, blah, 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 blah. But... I need coffee right now in my life so, so, so badly. So I'm gonna go get some coffee. Hope you're having the best day of your life, man. And I hope you're not tired. I'm gonna try to be positive today. I feel like it's gonna be like a stressful ass day, but all the positivity is gonna be a good, 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 good day. That's all I'm thinking in my mind. But yeah, time to work. Yeah, boy. Good morning, guys. I hope you guys are having an awesome, amazing day today. If you guys couldn't tell by my tank top right now, I'm headed to the gym. I haven't gone to the gym in forever. It's legit been probably a week and a half or two weeks, maybe even more than that. It's been it's been a while. I feel like my last time where I was steady at the gym was right before my birthday, which was April 12th. So it's been almost a month where I stopped going to the gym steadily, but I'm off to the gym, back on my grind. I look like shit, I have no makeup on, but um, I'm excited. I'm excited to do some squats today, work out my butt, work out my legs. I'm super pumped, super excited. I took some pre-workout and now I'm like super hyped. So there's that. So I know I shouldn't be doing this right now, but you know your boy got some McDonald's breakfast and you know your boy got some McDonald's coffee. McDonald's coffee is actually really, really bomb. I didn't think so like back in the day, but recently, I've been having McDonald's coffee and it's really, really good. Like it's comparable, if not better than Timmy's. And like Tim Hortons, I love you, I love you, I love you. But like, I'm just saying that McDonald's has bomb coffee too. I'm not saying Tim Hortons sucks. I love Tim Hortons with a passion. But I'm just saying McDonald's also has good coffee, okay? Okay, off to the groom's house, yeah. I just finished up at the gym. I did some weights and I just, I'm just taking Kobe for a one run right now. I think what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna do my weights at the gym and then I'm gonna take Kobe for a run after and then there's my cardio for the day and so I'm doing cardio at the gym I get like some mother nature time and some Kobe and me time and then Kobe started out for the day so I think that's the plan now I gotta go pick up Kobe's poo Kobe you grossy so gross okay so we just left the groom's house everything went slightly smooth there was a couple of stressful moments but we solved them everything went well now we're on the way to the temple and you know you know, you know your boy grinding out here, you know your boy hustling, you know your boy doing his thing. Another stressful moment just came up. The guy flying the drone, who is our intern, AJ, forgot his SD card at home. So now he is running to a store to buy one because he's stupid. He's a stupid, stupid, stupid person. I'm joking, he's really, really cool. He's just a guy that, you know, sometimes people forget things. It's okay, but he has time to go pick one up, so he's doing that now. When stressful situations pop up, you have to solve them. You, you can't just sit there and be upset you gotta solve the situation right you already know so he's gonna go do that i'm on my way to the temple and we're gonna do this hell yeah right, so if you guys know me you know that my car is a disaster so i'm gonna spend the next hour or so cleaning up my car with kobe this is such a beautiful day inside so let's get this done I told this guy to get me a black Ramal, right? And he knows I hate white. He knows I hate the color white. I don't wear white ever. Man brings me a white Ramal. It's not even my fault. They didn't have any color, man. The amount of- They had of, green. Do you want me to give him green? The amount of disrespect. The amount of disrespect. This is pretty funny, though. Still. I have some shame, bro. It broke my heart. Not nice. <laughs> Rollerblades in my garage. I don't know whose they are, but they fit me. I'm so excited. I don't think I know how to rollerblade, but I'm so excited right now. So when Veer's mad because he forgot to bring a hat right now. Look at this guy. Where's your hat though, huh? This guy about to catch a tan, B. About to catch a tan? Huh? Huh? About to catch a tan. About to catch a tan. You already know. But my boy over here, 
AJ got the hat, yo. Show him the hat. You already know he got the hat. No. Okay, so the ceremony part is over. That means we are going to the shoot. And that means I can put my hat on. You already know. I'm not the real Ramal no more, man. Ramal's making my head hurt, man. I don't know why. And I just hate wearing them because I look weird. But yeah, time to go. Peace. Peace, 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 peace. Yo, Amir, where's your hat though, eh? Oh, shit. Where's your hat though? RG, why do you always try so hard? Are you my intern though? Are you my intern though, bro? Isn't he the intern? Yeah, I think he's I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's an intern though. Isn't he like 12 years old? I think he's like 13 years old. So I had so many plans today, so many plans today, but I left my wallet at Harjit's house and I couldn't get done half of what I wanted to get done because Harjit's at work and I couldn't get my wallet and all of my stuff is in my wallet. So therefore, I didn't get a lot of stuff done and I'm really sad about it, but it's okay. I have work in like 45 minutes. I'm gonna make something to eat. I'm gonna head to work. I have no idea what to eat. I'm in that mood where I just don't want to do anything. I just want to lay in the sun and like, you know, think of video ideas or like do YouTube related stuff. I just do not want to go to work at all. There's zero part of me that wants to go to work today. <laughs> this is RG trying to fly my drone. I'm gonna crash it into the tree. Do it, let's see what happens. Hey guys, this is how you stay light skin, alright? Just cover up, cover up everything. Rinvir trying hard as usual. So I'm on my way to work and it is one thing that like, you know, I already hate going to work The second thing is that it's Friday night and I'm gonna work and the third thing is that it's fucking beautiful outside And I'm so sad that I can't enjoy this weather. It's 28 degrees Celsius outside right now, and I am so like It hasn't been this nice in forever basically spring started like Monday <laughs> And it's like May. It was like snowing like two weeks ago. It was ridiculous in Canada, but it's so nice outside. I wish I could enjoy this weather more, but unfortunately, I have to go to work. So I can finally tell you guys what I'm doing tomorrow. And what I am doing is I am throwing Jessica, my best friend, a bachelor up party. Um, I haven't been able to tell you guys because she watches my vlog, and obviously it's a surprise. But this is one of two, part one of two of her bachelor up party. I'm doing part one here, and then part two in the Dominican where she's getting married. I'm not making part two really a surprise unless she doesn't watch this vlog then it is a surprise, I don't know. But I'm not making it a surprise because I have to tell her that I need her that day. Um, so I'm just like, you know, throwing a girl's night uh, one day in Dominican and I have like a whole bunch of stuff planned. That part's a surprise. But I'm super excited. Tomorrow we're taking her to Niagara Falls. We're on a magic show, we're going to dinner and it should be a lot of fun. It's been a lot of stress to plan because, um, you know, people can't come. It's too expensive for people. Um, like we were supposed to do a limo, but a limo will, will be too expensive or is not available and it's just a whole bunch of hassles but I'm really pumped that we get to take her out tomorrow and that'll be a fun vlog for you guys. Okay you already know I'm done work I'm done I'm done I'm done today was a stressful last day a crazy hectic insane day but your boy made it through I made it through I'm home now I already organized my equipment and did all that stuff. Now I'm backing up the cards, man. The most stressful part. The most stressful part, but I'm almost done. I'm on my last two cards, and then I have to drop off all these files to the person that's going to edit the same day edit, because tomorrow is the bank hall party, and they're going to play the edit of today's wedding during tomorrow's party. So that's insane. And this girl is going to edit the whole thing tonight. So, you know, best of luck to her. I ain't doing shit tonight, man. I, did. I made it through and I also caught like a tan maybe you can tell but I got like a bit darker you know shit happens shit ha I'm already dark man I got darker shit happens but I'm gonna get back to you know back in these cards though you already know I'm gonna holla at you peace what is up guys I am home now it feels good to be home work was work work was work I am just like not happy there I hate it there's so much, but it's like, I don't know, every day that I go to work and I realize that I don't want to be there, it just reminds me that I gotta work harder, I gotta grind harder to achieve my dreams a lot quicker, and this is what, this is the price I have to pay. Jessica and I were talking about this the other day, we were saying how, like, she's all about, you know, she's the type of person that will work a 9-to-5 job, which she does, and get married, which she is, just have kids, 
which she's gonna do really soon and that's just how her life is planned out and that's how a lot of normal lives are planned out. Unfortunately, I don't want to go that route and I want to, you know, follow this dream that is so close yet so far and I want to like achieve something that a lot of people are afraid to do and well, a lot of people just don't want to do it but it's because it's so much hard work and it's so much dedication and it's so much time and it's so much like no one understands what you're going through no one understands anything everyone's just like you know get a nine to five or you know you can work in a corporate world and it's like no i don't want to work for the corporate world i don't know if i'm making any sense to you guys i'm just rambling on about how i hate everything right now and I just can't wait for, I just can't wait for like us to, you know, be where we want to be, me and Harji, and I just can't wait till we're like, you know, at that point where it's like, all we have to do is focus on ourselves, focus on our goal, and we don't have to deal with, you know, I gotta pay my car bill, I gotta pay my phone bill, and I gotta work because I gotta pay those things off. I can't wait till we're at that point where it's like, the thing we love pays that thing off, but anyways. That's my little rant about what's going on in my life and how much I hate work. I thank you guys so much for listening to me. I'm gonna head to bed now. I hope you guys had the greatest day of your life. Today's vlog is officially over, so make sure you stay true to yourself and stop giving a fuck. I'm gonna holla at you tomorrow. Peace out.